So here we are um, at the beginning of a snooker table, full-size snooker table assembly. We thought we'd shoot a quick video on how the snooker table comes together piece by piece and giving some narrative. So uh, um, this particular example is a mahogany snooker table, um, 12 foot full size, and we've laid the whole table out um, on the floor. This is the easiest way to uh, get one's head around assembling it. And, um, and as Martin, well Martin here is about, is about to undertake the installation, and we've got um, uh, tables, uh, uh, legs that match to certain parts of the tables by numbers, haven't we? So we've got... Uh, yeah, everything is numbered. So each leg is numbered. So that leg is number one. So the end beam has a number one in it and a number eight. And the long beam has a number one and a number four. So we have one, one, one. Here will be two, 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 three, 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 and so on all around the table. So everything matches. I see. So on this end, it's... Um, number one in that corner. No, that's eight. Eight, eight, eight. Eight. It starts, it'll go around the table. So that's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight corresponding to the uh, the number of legs, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, fantastic. So it's um, uh, very important to get the leg round the, the right way. And what we've got is, um, uh, if you spin the leg round, you can see um, on two sides of the leg you've got more holes and these are for the dowels aren't they Martin? That's right, yes. Yeah. So, so th the outside you also see the marks where the cover plates go so you must make sure that you have the two outsides of the leg on the outside of the table. So those holes will line up on there and these holes will line up on there. So here we are, all assembled, well the frame at least, the heavy parts to come, bringing in the slates, but um, what you can see is that um, we've um, uh, married up the side sections, uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Um, they're all numbered, so it's pretty hard not to, uh, to get it right. And uh, you can see the outside here, um, where the cover goes on um, simply like that. So here we are lifting um, a series of five slates um, one and three quarter inch thick Italian precision ground slate and uh, we're placing them into position um, onto the top of the, of the frame. Ready? So the next stage is once the um, slates are all joined it's just to fill um, uh, between them any little chips in the slates. Just the worst be. Bits. They're just just the worst of it. So mm. Martin just going over the table now with uh, some polyfiller, and um, we're just the uh, sponsorship here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just filling in the uh, in the little uh, in the in the imperfections. Basically, we're not uh, doing the final um, fill, but we're just doing the rough bits, as it were. So we put the level on the table and we can see that the table is slightly sloping towards, uh, towards the end. So um, we've, uh, we've jacked the table up um, here and um, we've used um, these pieces of uh, compressed paper. Um, and we've got two under this leg here, three under this leg here and four under that leg there just to compensate so now we've got the table dead set level um, on its frame, or the slate's exactly level on, on its frame. Um, Martin's now going over, um, ensuring that all the slates um, and all the little cracks are properly filled in. Um, and uh, you can see he's using a polyfiller and a scraper here. So we've got the cloth on the table, um, which uh, is a British made cloth made by um, Strachan, West of, um, West of England, and um, top quality of course. And um, we are, uh, Martin is um, putting the tacks in to secure the uh, cloth. And this is a traditional um, method, we don't use staple guns on snooker tables. 
Okay, so now we're doing the uh, corner um, centre pockets and, um, and Martin just cut the cloth there and putting it together and then pulling it taut right the way across. Okay, so um, now the top frame's been fitted all the way around, we're just focusing in on the corner here and um, we're fitting the pocket plate in to each side and uh, you can see that's attached to the net and the ball run um, and that simply screws up and this um, this end cushion here just simply bolts through the frame all the way along and it's got this rather smart cover here um, that slides across to, uh, to hide the, uh, the bolts.